918 right now. We are already beginning to warm it up pretty quickly on what's going to be a toasty Tuesday out there. Blue skies and light winds. If you're going to plan something outside like a hike, I would get out as early as you can, like maybe right now in the 70s, right now 80s. Pretty quickly, though, we've got a couple spots around town that are already in the low 80s. We'll be in the upper 80s, if not right around 90 by noon today. Warming up quickly. Winds will be a little lighter. That is the good news. And we shouldn't have to deal with another round of windy weather until the weekend. That's when those winds are forecast to pick back up with the next storm system moving our way. In the meantime, we're going to have fairly light winds hour by hour today, generally less than 10 miles per hour throughout your day ahead. And pollen counts have fallen off a little bit as well, especially when it comes to weeds and grasses. Mostly what the Mayo Clinic uh, is picking up on with their pollen counts is trees, mesquite, juniper and cedar. Really could use some rain around here. It is not very likely this week. A seven day rain outlook shows a chance for some very light rain across just northern Arizona, maybe some isolated showers in eastern Arizona. That's looking at the upcoming weekend. The storm though I'm tracking is not super likely to bring us a lot of rain. Right now we've got clear skies all across the desert southwest California, Arizona, Nevada, and that's a ridge of high pressure that's going to strengthen the next couple of days. And that is the reason I'm forecasting temperatures to really start climbing as we get into your Wednesday and Thursday. We're talking about the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this season, this year, really. As we head uh, in the next couple of days via Futurecast, you'll see the storm track stays well to the north of us. That's indicative of a big ridge of high pressure. And that is the reason we're going to warm it up, and that is the reason over the weekend that this storm system dropping down, it bumps that ridge out of the way. And even though at this point models show rain and snow to the north of Arizona not coming as far south as our state, uh, I think that we will get a little bit of a cool down and also some breezy weather by the weekend as well. Not as much of a cool down maybe as you'd like, but at least we'll stop climbing after this. 100 tomorrow, 101 by Thursday. Overnight lows come up from the 60s to the 70s. They drop back though, along with the afternoon temperatures. 96 both Saturday and Mother's Day and low 90s to start next week.